Welcome back YouTubers, in this video we're going to be talking about the metal sides. Metal sides, when you buy one of those, you will never have to be worried anymore about if you will ever run out of batteries, because they're just they're the way they are. You just aim, aim with them and you shoot through them. They are very easy to install and uninstall. You don't have to worry about if they are level, if you need to focus the reticle, you don't have to worry if they are kind of a, your eye relief a towards them. So they are very simple, they are very sturdy, it is something that once you got them, they are just uh, there forever. The majority of the armies, uh, uh, police agencies, intelligence agencies, they, all their uh, training, the trainers, they have to be previously qualified with metal sites before they upgrade them for the red dot, for the bullet drop compensator, uh, rifle scope, or for the marksman or sniper's uh, rifles. Uh, when you buy this one, it's, it's extremely reliable. There is nothing that can go wrong with this one. A lot of insertion teams, the special forces, either through air or underwater, they prefer this one because they will never have any changes on their zero when they're switching altitudes or depth in the water. So they are really uh, battleproof, and it's no secret that a lot of people they use them as an alternate or a second back or backup sites when their red dot sites, their bullet drop compensator site or their, or their rifle scope, they're failing or they got broken. So I would highly suggest you to get yourself comfortable with uh, your metal side, your backup sites, however you want to call them, before you upgrade for a red dot site or anything you might have in mind. For demonstrational purpose of these videos about a metal size, I'm going to be using my Troy Industries a battle size. I got the model with a tritune so I can take shots at nighttime operation. It means I have a nighttime situation, which is when, it's, when most of the crime scenarios happen in the world. The installation is going to be really, really, really easy. As you can see, you only have to screw in a flat head for the rear one. And for the front one, you're going to have to use a flat head. A screwdriver over here is super easy nothing you don't need to use any space in one of those uh, calibrated torque tools or anything out of the ordinary just make sure they're gonna be really far from each other unless you're using an m4 carbine or one of those uh, 12 o'clock uh, flashlights then you're gonna have to put it right behind the flashlight uh, the adjustment for the front one uh, from the factory you will receive in your package with your Troy Industries uh, side, you will receive this tool that will allow you to do the adjustment for a point of impact on elevation. If you want to increase your point of impact, then you're going to screw in this over here. If you're going to uh, lower your point of impact, you're going to counterclock the uh, front side. For the rear adjustment, what you're going to be doing, it's going to be uh, on the side, you see this circle. Let me see if I can get it adjusted the circles and you will see like a metal pin. Well, it's all metal, but this one on the bottom, you're going to have to press it with a bullet and then you're going to rotate it in the direction that you want to do the lateral adjustment. If you're going to move to the point of impact right, then you rotate it right or left. It just follow the direction underneath till you get a both of them completely aligned with your designated target. Of course, when you're going to be doing the, let me see if I can get it focused. This is the rear side. Once you get it aligned, that you know that it's already perfect for uh, your target. You this from a prone position for the rear and for the uh, front side. Of course, when the first for you, if you are doing the alignment and you're zeroing for the first time, you won't be using the, the huge wide open target. You should be switching to the more uh, narrow, specific, more uh, you know accurate uh, shot till you get it uh, totally zero. I can get it because I'm holding my camera with my hand, so bear with me, please. If you're going to be using this one as a backup site, uh, the front one you can uh, fold it in. You just press this little stick on the side and will allow you to fold it back, so it's not going to be causing any obstruction. So the rear one, if you're going to be using any ACOG side or any uh, a rifle scope side, so it's, it's not going to cause any obstruction on your field of view. When you go to the gun store, they will always try to hook you up with all kind of a uh, five uh, type of sights for a single rifle. That's just a marketing uh, thing. You don't have to go really crazy about that. I regularly have it on the uh, wide open sights because I use this one for home defense scenario in case I will have a, I will ever have to defend in my life or the life of the loved ones in my home. So you know, I just 
worst case scenario I pray will never happen but you know you never know and also because it's very very fun to use at the range and I might be using it for a hog hunting uh, occasionally my final advice before you buy any AR-15 I would highly recommend you to spend at least a uh, uh, 300 rounds uh, taking shots getting yourself very familiar with your uh, metal sights uh, because this will never fail you the scope will fail you the rifle scope will fail you your uh, red dots might fail you if you really drop your heart or for the uniform fighters if they get shot in their sights then this is all they have their so-called backup sights so if uh, i'm familiar i can shoot a uh, the target the human target size up to 200 yard the 40 by 20 but it's something that I it's mean to me, I really trust, to be honest, I trust more about my metal sights more than any other of my sights because I know this one will never fail me and this is going to be my last uh, resource if I ever have to defend my life or the life of my loved ones. As always, thank you for following. Give it a like if you find it interesting, if you uh, learned something new. Don't forget uh, to subscribe for upcoming videos, share it with like-minded people. You'll have a wonderful day.